Hello and welcome to Trends and Friends. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Brandi Triggers. And I'm Jacob Riley. Today is Tuesday, February the 14th. Happy Valentine's Day to everyone tuning in with us today. Yeah, that's so fun. Yeah, so did your husband surprise you with anything this morning? You, he or? did. He's he did? very traditional. Okay. Um, always something on February 13th. It's just how okay. he rolls. And then, gotcha. yes, he did. Oh, that was very sweet. Y'all yeah. had a pretty fun weekend. We gang. did. Uh, I, but let I'm the folks know at home what you went and did because I am so jealous I did not get to tag along. So we went and watched Bruce Springsteen oh, in my. concert. It was oh. great. I'm like, that would have been a good enough Valentine's Day gift <laughs> yeah. in and of itself for me. That was his Valentine's Day gift. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, hey, I'm sure he is not complaining one bit. <laughs> yeah. And I got to indulge at one of my favorite places to eat. Are you ready? I can. I, I have a pretty good guess of probably what it is. What we is don't it, have Randy? them here anymore. What is it? Jack in the Box. Really? Oh, okay. I mean, not, I, see? Not what I was <laughs> guessing. I figured it would be an all chocolate restaurant if we're being oh, honest well, with you because you're a big chocolate fan. I know, but. I am. Okay, Jack yeah. in the Box. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Those tacos. I call it mystery meat. You don't know what's in it. Don't ask, but they are so good. Mm, sounds delicious. <laughs> you well, sold me. <laughs> did you? Uh, <laughs> so, uh, did you get your Valentine's Day shopping done? I did. Yes, I did. I have, you know, I have three special ladies to buy That's for right. my two daughters and my wife, but managed to knock it all out. But of course. Yeah. 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 Well, fun. Yeah, well, we are going to keep on celebrating today oh, yeah. because today's show is all about sharing the love. Oh, it sure is. And there are so many ways. You know, we have so many local nonprofits in Lubbock, the South mm -hmm. Plains, and just it makes it really easy for us to get involved and do some great things because they're it doing does. great things. It does. You know, in the South Plains, a very good way to give back to our community, and we love to see those funds, especially stay local here I as know. well, too. And that's what they do. And so do. just so many, so many options. And sometimes I think, man, I just don't know where to get involved because there's so many. Yeah. And when you hear the story, it touches your heart. Yeah, but we're going to cover you today. We've got we a are. lot of good options we for are. you. We are. They're fantastic. We so let's get started. First, we have joining us found a local nonprofit right here that just has such a, they all have great stories. I can't say that oh, because they, they all have great stories. <laughs> and then we're going to hear more about Love the Hub, which this is, I had not heard of Love the Hub. So I'm excited that okay. they're here. I'm probably not the only one. I haven't heard of them mm -hmm. either, so very mm -hmm. happy they're joining yeah. us today. Plus, we've got Open Door here sharing their ministry, and another one, Widows Speak, mm -hmm. will be giving us their story on sharing the love as well. So yeah. a lot of good, four good nonprofits it coming is, up today. It is, it is. So very excited about that. Now, speaking of love, I don't mind the wind, but I do not love the dirt. Well, you know what's correlating with that, Brandy, is you came back today. So you brought the wind and you brought the dust back to us here in Lubbock today. But you know what? Uh, free microdermabrasions for everyone on there Valentine's you go. Day. You can't that, beat that, right? Hey, yeah. Can't beat that with yeah. a blowing dust we're seeing out there. So. But I leave and it snows. What, what, how did that happen? You need happen? to get out of town more. You know, we've got <laughs> snow. We had rain while Brandy was gone. I think she needs to just take about a month's vacation so we can make a, some improvement here with drought conditions. But yeah, today those drought conditions are definitely evident with that blowing dust we've got going on. That's the live look in Lubbock right now, folks. 63 degrees is the current temperature. 55 in Clovis. 70 down at Lake Allen Henry and 69 degrees out in Guthrie. We're seeing those winds out of the west gusting upwards of 40 miles per hour right now. We are continuing with a high wind warning for those counties in pink. That lasts until 6 p.m. Central Time, so about an hour left on that. And then Southern Lee County, in addition to Gaines, Dawson, Board, and Scurry counties, remain under a wind advisory through 6 p.m. Central Time this evening. But in regard to how strong the winds have been today, 72 mile per hour gust reported in Silverton, Turkey, and Matador. Those are the top spots here in Lubbock, right at 70 mile per hour winds, 40 in Tatum. 54 down at Seagraves and 57 mile per hour gust reported in Snyder. Now, as we take a look across the region, we are clear. Could see a few clouds move in tonight, but over the past 24 hours, we have seen some rainfall. Most areas, though, right at or under a quarter of an inch was reported. Big winters are Muleshoe, Riona, and Snyder there at a quarter of an inch of rainfall. By sunrise tomorrow, going to be in the 30s and 40s. Highs tomorrow ranging from 43 in Clovis to 71 in Jayton as a strong cold front moves through throughout the day. That will keep those winds pretty gusty, upwards of 50 miles per hour here throughout the day on our Wednesday. But seven day forecast shows a big cool down by Thursday. And then this weekend, Brandy, those clouds are going to move back in with high temperatures returning to the 60s and 70s.